Hi everybody, I am in my home office. You can see it. And today we're gonna to talk about a kindergarten shape lesson. And we've been talking about shapes and we've been discussing that they are two dimensional, which means that they have height and width, but no depth, they're flat. So we're going to work on a project today. So we're gonna get started on that project. On the paper, you can see I just have some scratch paper and I have a couple pieces of colored paper and regular white paper. So you'll be able to use whatever you have available to you. And I'm gonna start by just drawing some shapes. In one of, in the video, I told you you could even use a magazine picture to draw your shapes. But I think I'm gonna draw my shapes right on a piece of paper and you can use a pencil and a ruler or you can just draw them and we will check them out. So I'm gonna draw first a triangle and a circle and I'm gonna draw a rectangle. Oops, kind of a bump there. I can fix that when I'm coloring. And how about just an oval today to speed things up? So I'm gonna then wanna decorate those because they're kind of boring as they are. So I have crayons and markers and pencils and colored pencils, but I think I'm gonna use some crayons to just color my shapes a little bit. And then I'm just picking out some of my favorite colors and you can use lots of colors or just a couple of colors, whatever you would choose to do. It is all about your own self-expression and your preferences. So I have found a couple of colors and I'm gonna get it started. I'm gonna color this triangle. And you know, I always like to put color on top of color. And so that's always kind of fun. So maybe I can do a little bit of that. Oh, it's not gonna show up very well, but that's okay. Okay, so I have my triangle, my circle, and my oval and rectangle drawn, and I am decorating them, and I am using crayons just to color them to make them a little bit more interesting than just a white page. So I'm gonna keep coloring until I get all of these shapes colored. And I told you that you can use colored paper and cut out your shapes and glue them on a white page, or you can use magazine or newspaper pictures, or maybe pictures out of old catalogs. That would be fun. But I'm just putting it on white paper and I was gonna have you cut them out, glue them onto another paper, but for me to save some time, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So I think I'm gonna use a crayon over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a spot on this shape and I'm gonna put a finger space around it. So I'm gonna start my line right there and I'm gonna think about that finger space all the way around that rectangle. And then I come back to that spot that I started and I'm gonna lift my crayon up and I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna stop there and do one of each of the shapes first and then I'll keep going. So now I'm gonna put a finger space here and mark that and go around this shape. And these are called contour lines. And notice I didn't go on top of this line. I'm making sure I'm not overlapping my lines just to make it more interesting in my design. And I think I'm gonna do one line all the way around all of these shapes. So I've got my finger space and I'm going around and then I'm gonna do that to my triangle. And with this triangle, I think I'm gonna use this color. So I've 
got my finger space all the way around. And now we can make a choice. Do we change colors or keep the same colors? I think I'm gonna keep the same colors. So here's a finger space outside of that triangle. And I'm not gonna go on top of that line. And I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I ran off the page and that's okay. And there's a finger space. So I've done two finger space lines around my triangle now. And I can then go back to my circle and do another finger space here, but I'm not gonna go on top of that line. I'm gonna make sure if I run off the page, it's okay. And I'm not going to intersect anybody else's lines. And I'm gonna keep filling my whole page like that. Okay, here I am finishing up the last of these contour lines around my shapes. And you can see I've tried to leave a finger space, finger space between each one. And that is this project. Hope you have fun.